It's opening day in Oxford, Mississippi, and we've got a great start to the 2022 slate here on the SEC Network Plus. It's number five, Ole Miss, welcoming Charleston Southern to Swayze Field. It's Derek Diamond, the junior, who steps in. No more Gunnar Hoagland, no more Doug Nikhazy. We'll see Derek get the start here on a Friday night. Yes, Derek definitely has the stuff to be a Friday night starter in the SEC, and this is his year to do it. He's a junior. He's ready for this. He's had a full season of SEC baseball last year. Uh, he's got dominant stuff, and he's a heck of a competitor on the mound. He's ready to go this year. McIntosh, the third baseman. It's 2-2. Two and two. The pitch on the way from Derek Diamond. Swung on and missed. Three up, three down for Diamond and the Rebels. Junior lefty Bryce Brock gets the start here in his home state, the Hernando, Mississippi native. And he shouldn't be too shook in this moment, Billy. He started his collegiate career at Mississippi State, so he's faced SEC bats before, but we'll see how he does pitching for the Bucks here today. 65 starts coming all across different defensive positions. Chatagnier takes off for second, a stolen base early on, the runner in scoring position early for the Rebels. Rounder right side of the infield. This is going to bring a run home. It's Chatagnier crossing the plate for the first time in 2022, and Ole Miss has a 1-0 lead against Charleston Southern. Lifts this one towards left. Asman's going to get underneath it. This is going to bring Kevin Graham home for the second run of the ball game. It's 2-0 Ole Miss. Diving stop over at third from McIntosh. The throw across the diamond, not in time. McCant scores, and Chatagne delivers to make it 3-0. Uh, base on balls and, and hit by pitches and walk, and then strikeouts. Well, here he has a potential RBI. Alderman coming around third. He'll score, and it's 4-0 Ole Miss. Dunhurst the chance to throw down to second, and he got him, showing that pop time. New pitcher into the game for the Bucks. Zach Robinson, junior righty out of St. Peter's, Missouri. Pretty microcosmic of his walk in the first at bat that we saw from him. McCants is going to get second on a balk. And they're going to move Elko home as well. So Robinson missteps on the pickoff. Sharply hit out to left field again. McCants tagging up from third. No throw to the plate. So another sacrifice fly from Reagan Burford. Count stays 0-2. Outside corner, strike three. That's out number three. This one's going to be lifted out into left, and it's going to score at least a pair. Harris into second, Fizari into third, and that's two runs up on the board for the Bucks. It's 6-2 here in the fourth. Got him with the 2-2 pitch for strikeout number eight. How about a line shot out to left? It's going to drop in front of the left fielder. Justin Bench is going to score from second. And there he is, the... Freshman All-American from a season ago, Jacob Gonzalez. Olive Branch native Matthew Taylor takes over for the Bucks. The righty stands six feet tall, 167 pounds. Joined the Bucks from Heinz Community College. Backhand play by the second baseman. Mills the throw, will not get McCants. Gonzalez crosses, making it 8-2 Ole Miss. SEC by piecing together quality at bats and good base running, then that's incredibly valuable. Inning over here as Alderman grounds out, but again, the Rebels tack on some runs. It's 8-2 in Oxford. Kessinger, or Servidio Kessinger and Errol Robinson have all are all currently with major league organization. I believe that's absolutely correct. This pitch finds the inside corner from Taylor to strike out Gonzalez here. New pitcher into the game for the Rebels. It's one of those Big time transfers we talked about earlier when we were talking about John Gaddis. It's Jack Washburn, the junior from Webster, Washington, comes over to Ole Miss from a, a program in Oregon State that's known for their baseball. And 
The one two from Washburn. Chopper to third. Reagan Burford the throw to Elko. And Jack Washburn with a clean first inning in an Ole Miss uniform. 8-2, Ole Miss leads it heading to the home half of the sixth. Elko muscling one out to right field towards the wall and gone. Showers for the first time in 2022. Boy, oh boy, it didn't look like Elko even got all of that one and just muscled it over the fence and right. Elko really showing off his power there. It looked like it was a ball on the outside portion of the plate. Just kind of stuck his bat out there. The freshman. Ball high in the air, trailing towards the camera well. Did he grab it? He sure did. Junior Mitch Morell takes over for Ole Miss. Appeared in five games last season with a 6-3-5 ERA. Five and two-thirds innings with six strikeouts and four walks. This will be his seventh career appearance over three years with Ole Miss. Will not strike out here. Waldschmidt got every bit of that baseball. A solo shot here in the seventh inning. Welcome to Collegiate Baseball. The freshman with a moonshot here against the number five team in the country. And this is a swing I imagine he'll remember for a long time. He gets ahead in a hitter's count. Payoff pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. Morrell bounces back with a strikeout. Jack Gilmore, 6'5", 220. Junior righty out of Bloomington, Illinois. Central Catholic High School, but most recently at Heartland Community College through 41 and 2 thirds innings at Heartland. 6.26 ERA, 66 strikeouts, 13 walks. Basler controls it, fires to first, and that's out number three. Gilmore gets the job done out on the bump for CSU. Sharply hit back up the middle. Gonzalez unable to glove it. Mills being waved home. Here's the throw. Dunhurst trying to get the tag on and does. Another freshman getting an opportunity here from Carolina, Puerto Rico. Uh, lefty Hector Candelas, 5'11", taking the bump for the first time in his collegiate career. Hit hard out to center field. Carter makes the grab for the final out, making his collegiate debut. The freshman from Jackson, Mississippi, it's Mason Nichols, six foot five, takes the bump for the first time. In the air out towards third base, just into the grass goes Burford, squeezes it. Ole Miss picks up their win on opening night. They take down Charleston Southern by a final score of 9-3. to three. The Rebels have now won 20 of 22 season openers under Mike Bianco. You can catch the Rebels and Bucks battling again tomorrow on the SEC Network Plus. For our entire crew, I'm Seth Austin saying so long. You can watch this one with replay on the ESPN app or online at watchespn.com. We'll catch you again tomorrow as Ole Miss and Charleston Southern do battle again. Take care, everybody. This has been a presentation of ESPN.